Bollywood! You are kaput! In other words... You're finished! You're finished! You're finished! You're finished! Wallahi, you're finished! That's a gen, yeah. <laughs> As we know by now, the famous Dungal actor, Zaira Wasim, has left Bollywood. But the people still in the industry are painting it out to be some sort of artsy fartsy jolly utopia which then makes us question as to why she left. But when we look inside the closet of Bollywood and we start knowing what it's really about then Zara Wasim's decision makes 100% sense mate. In fact you'd be thinking why on earth are other people still there? In a country with long laborious working hours and manual labour, people find escape in these movies from their tiresome and monotonous lives. And because there's such an emotional attachment to these celebrities and Bollywood, some people have even gone as far as even worshipping these celebrities. Here you've got one guy called Rajni Kant and here we got another one Amitabh Bachchan. The first thing, sexual abuse within the Bollywood industry. What's the big deal I hear you ask? You're probably familiar with the Me Too movement. Instigated I think it was by that Harvey Weinstein scandal in Hollywood. Yeah it happens, people deal with it. No, because Bollywood is slightly different. The first thing is this sort of stuff is widely accepted in the wider culture to such a degree that a person in 2015 was shown leniency by the courts for stalking a woman after he blamed it on Bollywood. Number two, it consistently gets pushed by the movie culture. If you compare Hollywood and Bollywood, Bollywood churns out more movies per year, more people buy tickets to watch these movies. So you can say when something's being pushed by the movies, it's serious mate. In fact Oxfam 2016 actually mentioned the objectification of women endemic within Bollywood. I mean in this industry no doesn't mean no, no literally means You know what keep pestering me and follow me to my home and break off my marriage if need be and eventually I'll say yes. You know what I think I've just summarised half of the plots within Bollywood with that one mate. And what's worse is that women are too afraid to report these cases because it's such a male dominated industry and if you rock the boat you'll never walk in this town ever again. So women seriously have to consider either giving up their career or giving up their dignity. Here Zyra Wasim opted for the former. Child actors get treated the worst. You know why? Because I'd say they get groomed and eventually they become institutionalized and they just can't leave. And then they become the perpetrator, they start doing it to others. In fact Zyra Wasim got a taste of this, it was in 2017 when she was on a flight and she was getting molested on the plane. And here was an article by Cosmopolitan and they mentioned the cases of Anurag Kashyap and Kalki Kochlin and Anushka Shankar. What's sad is that these guys only had the confidence to mention about the abuse when they'd grown up. What about the kids still in the industry? And let's end with my favourite. Uh, this happened in, in Feb 2019, yeah. Cobra Post did a sting operation, yeah, and they called it Operation Karaoke. <laughs> Bear with me, yeah. This showed 36 Bollywood celebrities willing to accept money or do favours in exchange for posting favourable messages on behalf of various political parties. Crook! Well are you a crook? You are a crook! You are a crook! What makes it worse is they were asked to make it seem like it was their own personal opinion and they were willing to do so. Considering Bollywood is so influential, the fact that actors are willing to be bribed to talk about or big up the BJP Modi's party just goes to show you can't take these movies and these actors seriously. And to, in conclusion, just the whole repressed sexual abuse that takes place is, is very rough.
on top of that you got kids in the industry going through this stuff and obviously no one's going to believe them the parents are just going to be like you know what we're starving at home you guys just have to suck it up and a lot of these girls listen to um this this BBC piece she touched me wherever he wanted he kissed me wherever he wanted and i was shot he put his hand inside my clothes so i asked him to stop and he said you know what if you really want to work in the industry i don't think so you've got the right attitude may allah protect the people that are struggling within the industry and that want out if you are watching and you don't know where your life is at the moment you got to look into islam it is the way shown to us by our creator alhamdulillah the fact that we're not sucked into this because so people go into this industry because of lack of money desperation not being able to pay bills and then when they are able to do that and they realize that you know what that life was actually better than what we're in now let's leave it there and until next time assalamu alaikum